an exciting mail day today. I got these in from Brooklyn Clothing. These are the Viberg Brooklyn Clothing service boots in tan Taurus rough out leather on the 1035 last with a cap toe, uh, stitch down construction on a commando sole. So I just want to go through a few things quickly, first impressions, uh, and then I'm going to put these on and put them to use. Um, in terms of packaging, really well packaged and uh, came with two sets of laces. So uh, took my wife's advice and went with the flat wax cotton laces in there, but uh, also have the option of the rawhide laces, which are really high quality as well. I've used those in another pair of my boots. Um, the Venetian Leather Bomb, which I think comes in with all their boots. I'm not sure that, that uh, it's going to come in handy for the rough out leather, but it's in there and I can add that to my shoe care kit, which is nice. Uh, these models have the unstructured toe and it's a, got a cap toe and the stitching is really nice. Looks very even, uh, no loose threads or anything there, so it looks really great. Uh, so yeah, like most of my videos, let's start from the bottom and work our way up. So it's on a built block heel, uh, really nice, looks like an antique uh, edge dressing on there, some solid leather lifts, and uh, as mentioned, the full commando sole, and that's for the, the top lift as well. Uh, and you can see nice thick treads there. Those are gonna provide some really great grip. And um, with the size of those treads, some of the, what I find in the, the 430, the Bieber 430 with the mini lugs, you get gravel and the small stuff stuck in there. Whereas these, I don't think I'm going to have that issue. It'll likely be more prone to some of the larger rocks. Uh, so that might be just something I'll have to pick those out as they, as it happens. Uh, so great sole, stitch down construction, uh, really well done. I know that uh, some of the things I've heard have just been around quality control, but uh, I don't see any QC issues going on here. These are just perfect, incredibly well made, really nice and heavy and sturdy. Uh, I've got the cap toe, so three rows stitching, two rows closer together, and then uh, one row a little further from those two. Um, the texture on the rough out is just incredible, really love that. On the on the uh, website, the color looks very orange. So I had emailed Brooklyn Clothing just to say, uh, is it in, in real life, is it that orange? And so they sent me a picture in the store just in natural light and it was, it was much more subtle uh, than what I had seen online. So that's when I decided, okay, that's, these, are, these are perfect. And that is gonna change over time as well as they take on dirt and uh, sunlight and all that sorts of stuff. So the tongue is partially gusseted and it's got the smooth side out, really soft, really nice. Um, and then with the, the soft side inside the boot, it's really, really comfortable. I did, I put these on just to try them on and make sure they fit. Uh, the inside has got a leather insole. Uh, also, I forgot to mention there's a leather midsole here. Um, also a uh, heel to arch support is in here. And in terms of fit, so I had been doing some searching around, asking some people about sizing and fit for the different lasts. I had thought maybe the, um, the 2030, but then because of my foot, I have a wider foot. It's an E between E and double E, but I've got a really high arch as well. Uh, some people had thought that the 2030 probably would be uncomfortable for me. It might pinch a little on the instep. Uh, and, and I'd heard from, from a number of people that the 1035 would be a little bit roomier and probably a better fit for me. So that's when I kind of went searching around to see what options there were for the 1035. Found these, super happy. And, and they're right. So from the discussions I had had with people online and uh, always go, go online if you're not sure on sizing. A, with companies, I emailed Viberg as well. Uh, once I kind of landed on the last I was looking at, and so their advice is always a full size down, at least a full size down from Brannock because they're based on UK sizing. But the person that I was emailing with had said, because of my foot and fit, 
that a half size down would be probably a good idea. And so I went a half size down and it actually, it's just a perfect fit. It's a little, it's still even a little snug for me on the instep, but that's, that's more my foot than the, than the shape of the boot. But they, uh, they fit incredibly well. They're nice and snug, but not tight. So they're going to uh, stretch in the right places over time. And there's a, a little bit of room in the length of the toe box, but for me, I actually need that over the course of the day because I've got high arches as well that tend to flatten out over the course of the day. So for me, if you've got a wide foot to start with, because this is an E-width last. So if you've got a wide foot to start with, and if you happen to be like me with high arch, high, arch, high instep, high volume foot, um, then I would say a half size down is probably the right call for you. If you're a standard foot, you know, D-width, typical instep and all of that, then then the recommendation from Viberg to go a full size down from Brannick is probably going to be spot on. Uh, but again, if you're a high volume foot like me, then, then a half size down is probably going to do you uh, really well. I'm really, really pleased with how these fit. So that is the Viberg Brooklyn Clothing Tantorus Rough Out Service Boot on the 1035 Blast. Thanks.